This poor dog got a fox tail embedded in his nose. If you see your pet limping, sneezing, rubbing their ear or having eye irritation, a veterinary visit is warranted to assess the cause. Maybe fox tails might be something else. The sooner treatment is provided, the better for your pet. And now, right, Dr. Dr. Pitaker's own pup, Next. Sierra for fox tail remover, it can happen fox to any of us. Be aware of those dog. nasty fox tails. I'm pretty sure mine are next. First fox sale of the season. For those of you who wonder how exactly we remove these suckers, this is how. Keep your pets out of the weeds, everyone. This beautiful kitten is named Ari and is working as a receptionist today if you would like to come by and meet him. Where's your treat? Well, this adorable dog didn't find his treat, which it actually was on top of his back. There it is. This beautiful little lady was brought in for squinting her left eye. What I found on examining her was a large foxtail stuck under her third eyelid. And so I applied topical analgesic, which is numbing solution, to her eye and slowly and carefully removed the foxtail out intact. And now we are treating her for the large corneal uncular that the foxtail left behind. First clip is where you are seeing this brave kitty who came in for squinting her left eye for a couple of days. These fox tails are too bad for her. So she is going home on pain medication and eye ointment to treat her corneal uncular. Poor thing. This dog has got his eye infected with what's called a fox tail. Fox tails can become embedded in a pet's paws, ears, eyes or nose and then can travel even further inward, potentially causing a serious infection. Remove foxtails from your yard and help pets steer clear of them in the great outdoors. If you and your dog frequent an area with foxtails, you may want to consider a foxtail protection head cover. These grass seeds have pointed arrow ends. They are designed to go into the soil easily, but they can easily get into an animal's fur and then into their skin. Once inside the skin, they travel to the animal's vital organs, causing a very distressing death quite quickly. More easily seen on a short-haired cat or dog, 
not easily to be spotted on a longer-haired animal. Foxtails are everywhere. Make sure you take the time to check your pet's ears, nose, toes, and all around their bodies. Today, this patient went into emergency surgery for a nasty object in his eye. We were pretty sure it was a foxtail, which it was, and it had burrowed its way into his eye. Last year, we were at the vet five times for various removal of these pesty grassy weeds. An untreated foxtail can result in obsessed infection and even death. Okay. Foreign body from the right lacrimal duct. In 17 years, this veterinarian have never seen a foxtail. Take this opportunity. Such a clean and beautiful removal with low stress handling to bush. Today, I celebrate this patient loving her vet nurse enough to not want to go back into her carrier, as well as giving me a reason to laugh and share more love with her. In this video, you will be seeing a dog who had this fox tail in his eye, so the veterinarian will work on removing it without damaging the dog's eye. You can see the whole thing in the video. We're seeing double, led by Dr. Burbash. The medical team at NHS removed another cute rira from a kitten's nose today. This kitty will be just fine. Note, this video may be too graphic for some viewers. Discretion advised. I call her Dr. Amy. We've been nursing this baby kitten for over a week now. We knew she was having a nostril and upper respiratory issues after her first doctor visit. Uh -huh. And of course, the vet gave her a couple of shots and some antibiotics. <sighs> this poor kitten has been rescued from this cute Rira that kept growing little by little until it became massive and blocked her breathing. Good thing mom noticed it fast and informed the local veterinarian, oh. then brought it for more investigation to finally find That's out that worm. it's a butterfly. They freaked out and the butterfly oh, is still alive and moving. This beautiful cat with shiny colors loves life but suffered a lot due to having this massive butterfly up her neck. The veterinarian has put Vaseline on where it resides and that blocked its breathing and made her show its end. The vet tech then positioned her forceps on it again, then waited for the right moment and struck hard and made it possible at last. Have you found a new lump on your bunny? It could be warbles. Clinical signs might be mild and only the mass is recognized. Left untreated, the cyst can become infected, resulting in a sick rabbit. Rabbits become lethargic, depressed, might experience weight loss and can go into shock due to sepsis if the infection is severe. Treatment requires careful surgical removal of the larvae and appropriate antibiotic therapy. The bunny is anesthetized, the breathing hole is enlarged, and the larvae is carefully extracted. It is critical not to damage the larvae in the process, as this can cause a fatal anaphylactic reaction. If the cyst is obsessed, it must be excessed or flushed depending on the severity. Rabbits should be treated with pain medicine and antibiotics.
This beautiful sedated cat under artificial ventilation having a cute rebra starting to grow in her face. They burrow under the skin and when they mature, they migrate out of the body. The video, if you look closely, shows the head of the larvae poking in and out of the center hole.